The core area shrunk down. I knew where he was at. I wasn't going in. I wasn't even checking my coverts. Killing a mature buck is all about time. Figuring out exactly where you need to be and then the correct moon. The first thing I go to is the moon guide. I'm just gonna check when the red moon times are. But it, it worked like a champ. And again, man, deer hunter's moon guide, it's got me on so many big deer. Team 200 is presented by Moon Guide. Plan your best hunt. The mature whitetail buck, without a doubt, is the most sought after trophy in North America. Every fall, Millions of sportsmen across the country hit the woods in search of these elusive creatures. Some hunters say when a big buck reaches maturity, surviving five, six, or even seven hunting seasons, they become a different species and sometimes even unkillable. What does it take to harvest one of these giants? Better yet, what does it take to harvest them consistently, year after year? This week, we take an in-depth look at this specific question and how the guys from Team 200 knock down the kind of bucks that most hunters only dream about on a regular basis. When it comes to harvesting world-class whitetails, the guys that make up Team 200 know how to get it done. With well over a century of combined knowledge in the whitetail woods, and countless big bucks on their walls. What do these guys know, and how do they get it done year in and year out? Every good game plan has to start somewhere, and with Team 200, nothing can replace the importance of some good old-fashioned scouting. Now, I think in general you have deer hunters, and then you have hunters that are after specific deer. And for the last two decades, I've really focused on hunting specific animals. And you know, when I break it down, I probably actually spend 10 days scouting to every one that I spend hunting. The first thing I go to is the moon guide. I'm just gonna check when the red moon times are, especially the early and late seasons, when you're depending on deer to break cover to eat or feed. Uh, and, and, and you'll just notice that there's certain times of the month where these deer are more active than others. And, and this is kind of a, 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 an out of the bag secret now, but the Deer Hunter's Moon Guide can tell you when those mature bucks are gonna be on their feet in daylight. Doing all that legwork and, and observation and figuring out exactly where you need to be to kill that animal, if you're patient enough and you've got enough discipline to do that work and to wait for the perfect time, most of the time you can go in and get it done the first time in. I can't believe it. We've got a giant deer on the ground. By far the biggest buck I've ever killed. And I had his onyx pointed. He didn't pick up anything. Gave me a 30 yard shot. Thank God I have an Ozonix. Start seeing more deer more often and closer than you ever thought possible with Ozonix. Ozonix is the only product that actively and continually attacks game spooking odor in the downwind airstream during your entire hunt, allowing you to beat an animal's number one defense, its nose. Summer can be a great time to catch big bucks with their guards down. Bachelor groups are often seen gorging themselves on the lush green leaves of soybeans and alfalfa during the dog days of summer. But even with the open of archery season still months away, the oldest and wisest animals still don't like to be seen. These seasoned hunters know there are only a handful of days each month when they have their best chance of catching these giants on the move in daylight. 
Whether it's during the heat of the summer months or the middle of bow season, these guys believe the red moon is the key to daylight activity when it comes to chasing giant whitetails. You know, I get asked all the time, what is the red moon? What's the deal about the red moon? I'll tell you, to, in its simplest form, the red moon is a handful of days every month when either the overhead or underfoot moon peaks at prime time. Um, first and last hour of daylight when deer want to move anyway. The best nights to catch those big old bucks out feeding before dark are right on the red moon. To say this is just, it's an incredible, incredible animal. Biggest buck I've ever seen. And the only nights I was able to actually get footage of this buck during daylight was right on the red moon. You know, that was the light bulb moment for me when it comes to my summer scouting. Got some video of him this summer in velvet and uh, a couple times out of velvet. And I knew at that point that I'd been missing the boat for the last 10 years and that I needed to start paying attention to the red moon days on the moon guide for not just my hunting season, but for summer scouting too. You know, for me, I've, I've killed seven Boone and Crockett's, uh, one over 200. Just trying to put some of the pieces to the puzzle together, and that's what you got to do on these big deer. You can't just show up and expect to kill them, so. You know, the moon guide played a huge role in, in the hunt for Elvis. Uh, everyone knows it, it was a three-year hunt. A lot of things happened in between, but um, I was waiting for the first red moon and the right wind direction. Ended up being one of the best velvet nights of my life. You know, I had a, at that year, he was probably 220 inch um, whitetail, literally, you know, 35 yards from me, standing in a bean, bean field feeding. And there were several things that I took away from that encounter with him. I knew what field he was using early season. I knew what wind he was using to get in there. He was pretty active ar around those red moon times. The moon phase was, it, it doesn't get any better than it was tonight, and the moon phase was about seven o'clock, and it's like, it's like 10 after seven, and we're just now back to the ranger, so he's using the moon. What happened at the end of that, um, there was a dog that came through and actually spooked some deer. In, in the timber and he exited the field. So, you know, the first place I'm gonna go look is where did he go when he felt threatened? You know, I know where he came from. I know where he was going. I know why he was there, when he was there. And now um, the other piece of information is I know his exit route. I've been hunting this buck for three years now. I usually get one or two opportunities at him a year and then he just turns into a ghost the rest of the season. I feel truly blessed to even share the same woods with an animal like this. Killed the biggest whitetail in my life. You know, guys spend thousands of dollars on their setup, but in my opinion, this little $20 guide that tells you when to go in and when not to go in um, is invaluable in my whitetail, you know, success. While other companies add preservatives and or water to their products, all raw frozen scents are 100% pure. When preservatives are added to ward off decomposition or when scents are diluted with water, both of these commonly used practices can actually change the scent's profile, making it less than desirable to deer. You as a hunter might not be able to detect the difference, but deer certainly can. Raw frozen scents are 100% pure and frozen to preserve their freshness. Nothing is added. October 5th, it just snuck into my lease for the first time in about 10 days. Multi-buck urine going down now. Mock scrape, tree stand 50 yards away, and hopefully have some big bucks. There's a couple in here from last year I really want to see, so those guys show up. We're going to be hunting some big deer this year. Being a hunter and an outfitter creates its own unique challenges for Chris Seymour. No stranger to the giants that call the cedar thickets and vast CRP fields that encompass this part of the country. This savvy hunter knows, by concentrating on moon guide data, he and his clients experience the best daylight action during the red moon. Year in and year out, Chris manages to put a Kansas bruiser on the ground while his clients enjoy the same kind of success. I remember when Adam Hayes the third put this into my hands about seven, eight years ago and said, you really need to take a look at this. 
You know, and I had my doubts, but you know, I also run a ton of trail cameras and I've been running hunts in Kansas for about 16 years. So I just started looking at when these deer are showing up on camera in the daylight, when they're moving and looking at dates with the moon guide. And it's just amazing how things were lining up. Just, you know, you just want everything on your side and the moon is one of them if you're gonna plan an out of state hunt. What a stud. My biggest Kansas whitetail ever. When clients call me and they wanna know when they're coming to hunt, I mean, I literally get this thing out. I look at it. I, I actually tell clients, it's more important to be there on the red moon than on opening day. Cause the moon's gonna affect the deer movement more than pressure. It just, it's a game changer. It really drives you to hunt certain days and you're gonna see more deer. about 125 yards down to the brush and you put this one in the books for see more bucks. Every year, more and more hunters are experiencing incredible results by incorporating the moon guides data into their game plan and the results speak for themselves. By hunting smarter and not harder, focusing their efforts around the red moon and its influence on daylight activity for mature deer, Numerous Moon Guide followers are taking the biggest bucks of their lives. Two decades, the Moon Guide has been the number one rated tool for serious hunters, telling you when giant whitetails will move and where you need to hunt. Now available as a mobile app, the Moon Guide gives you parcel data, enhanced weather radar, exclusive discounts, tips from the pros, and the deadly red moon data. Are you tired of hunting nocturnal trail camera bucks? Do you ever wonder why some bucks only show up during daylight on certain days each year? The Deer Hunter's Moon Guide is here to help. My scouting tells me where to hunt. The Moon Guide tells me when. Our best day hunting ever. Two unkillable bucks, both taken on the red moon. For effective preseason scouting, scheduling time off work, planning out of state hunts, and increasing your overall hunting success, simply check the Moon Guide's calendar to find the best days, times, and hunting locations to catch a mature deer on his feet during daylight hours. Two giant bucks last year, both taken on the red moon. Plan your best hunt at moonguide.com. Planning an out of state hunting trip can be a strategic nightmare. Most hunters try and schedule these adventures around the November breeding season, but determining what stage of the rut happens when and throwing unpredictable weather factors into the equation can leave most hunters scratching their heads when it comes to picking the right dates for a trip far from home. Team 200 members have enjoyed tremendous success in November following the Red Moon and using the information from the Moon Guide to predict the best weeks for success months in advance. All right. Traveling from his home in South Carolina every year to the Midwest in search of monster bucks, Joe Miles has consistently harvested multiple giant whitetails by scheduling his trips around the red moon. A lot of guys will get trail camera pictures of these giant bucks, and they'll be all at night, and then there'll be one picture of him at daylight. What, why? Why did he get up and move that one particular day? And this is why. The moon's influence on whitetail deer is huge. I've killed over 15 mature bucks using the guide, and on my 29 acre track in Illinois, I've shot a 165, a 186, and a 183 back to back to back, all on the red moon. Look at this thing, my goodness. It worked like a champ, and again, man, Deer Hunter's Moon Guide, it's an inexpensive tool, been around since the 90s. And, and I can't say enough about it. It just, uh, it's got me on so many big deer and, and uh, gotten me daylight action and that's what it's all about. You know, we travel from South Carolina to come out to the Midwest and our days are limited and we follow this thing every year religiously. Ohio native Adam Hayes knows the importance of scheduling his trips far from home by the Moon Guide. By keying in on the best days for daylight activity, 
Adam harvested back-to-back-to-back booners in Kansas, with all three giants making fatal mistakes within the exact hour of the red moon. I'm here in Kansas hunting with my good buddy Chris Seymour and my other best friend, the red moon. If I had to narrow it down to one factor or one tactic that's had the biggest influence on my success when it comes to killing mature deer, it's been paying strict attention to the moon. Yes. That's why I'm here. I schedule all my hunts out of state around the moon guide. 544 is when I texted Chris and Adam that I just killed my fourth 200. If you look at the date on the moon guide today, the red moon was at 541. I don't know how you get much closer than that. Even though I didn't kill him, last year I had an opportunity at my fifth 200 inch whitetail. Only day I've seen this buck on the hoof during daylight all year and it was right on the red moon. I don't know how much more accurate you can get. I had him in bow range out of this tree last night at 10 yards. I couldn't get a shot. You guys spend thousands of dollars every year on their equipment, hunting leases, outfitted hunts, food plots, etc. The Moon Guide is the least expensive product you're gonna buy all year, but probably the most valuable information you could have. And you can look at this thing months in advance and know the best weeks, the best days to be hunting, so you can plan your summer scouting, you can plan your out-of-state hunts, and of course, at home, you know the best days that you need to be in the field and where you need to be on those days and at what time. If you're driving down the highway and you're like, wow, there's you know 20 or 30 deer in that field tonight. It's amazing how if you start paying attention, how some of these dates you know, really lined up with what's going on. You, you can't just pick a day, dial it in, see if it's red moon, go kill your deer. You just need to understand that this thing will tell you when that deer is probably going to get up out of its bed, and he may only move 100, maybe 200 yards, but if you know where he's going and you can set up along that travel corridor, you will probably kill that deer. I bet he weighs 280 pounds. Man, what a bug.